Anne Bronte was born on 17 January, 1820. She was the youngest sister of Charlotte and Emily Bronte. The Brontes lived in Yorkshire, a country in the north of England. Anne's father was a vicar and the Bronte family lived in the village of Hayworth. The Bronte's home was not a healthy place. The vicarage was dark and cold. There was no clean water. Around the village of Hayworth there were moors, large areas of open land. Farmers kept sheep and some cattle on this high ground. Grass and small plants grew on the moors. But there were very few trees. Crops like potatoes or corn did not grow well on the moors because the soil was poor. The Bronte liked walking on the moors. But when the weather was bad, they stayed inside the vicarage. Then they wrote stories, plays and poems and they made sketches. The Bronte family had little money. When they grew older, the sisters had to find work. Each of the sisters were employed as governesses and they hated the work. In 1846, Charlotte, Emily and Anne Bronte began writing novels. At this time, publishers did not often publish books by women. So when they wrote their books, the Bronte used men's names. Anne Bronte used the name Acton Bell. A novel by each of the Bronte sisters was published in 1847. Charlotte wrote Jane Eyre, Emily wrote Wuthering Heights and Anne wrote Agnes Grey. Anne wrote only one other story, The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. It was published in June 1848. The Bronte sisters had one brother, Branwell. Branwell Bronte wanted to be an artist, but he was not successful. He became unhappy and angry. Soon Branwell began to drink too much alcohol and take drugs. He died in September 1848. Three months after Branwell's death, Emily Bronte died. She had tuberculosis, a disease in her lungs. At the end of the same year, Anne also became ill. She also had tuberculosis. Anne's sister, Charlotte, took Anne to Scarborough, a town by the sea. Charlotte hoped that the clean, fresh air would help Anne. But Anne's health never improved. She died in Scarborough on the 28th of May 1849. She was buried in the churchyard there.